So now that you've created all the questions for your quiz and you're ready to have people take the test after you present your information, uh, you'll want to do a few more steps to get it ready. The first step is you need to choose a response destination. And you can do that up here, it says responses zero. That means zero people have actually taken this quiz so far. Well, you're going to set it up so that you can take it yourself, but also so that other people can take it and you'll see their responses in a spreadsheet. So if you click on this menu, responses, or if you click on choose response destination, you can choose a destination to put your responses into. And what this does is it creates a new spreadsheet here, and we'll click create, it gives it a name of the name of your quiz, and then responses. And when you create that, it's going to make a spreadsheet of rows and columns that have boxes that tell you who took the quiz and what answers they gave for each question. So we've gone ahead and created that spreadsheet. And now if I click View Responses, you can see it'll open another tab at the top of the screen. And here's our questions. And here's timestamp is the date and time that somebody took the quiz. The username is the name of the person who took it. And then we'll have their answers to these questions in there. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make your own answer key for it. So you'll see the first row will have the correct answers. Those are going to be your answers. So to do that, I'm going to click back on the tab here that has the quiz, and we're going to click View Live Form. And you can do this before you send it out to everybody. You want to make sure your quiz looks and has the correct information that you want. So when I click on View Live Form, it shows me what the quiz will actually look like when people take it. But we haven't actually sent it to them yet. And you can click up at the top to edit it and go back and edit the, the form yourself, or click back on the other tab with the form here at the top. So we go through, and it says a blank is a weak spot in the crust where melted material comes to the surface. That's the definition of a volcano. True or false, most volcanoes form at plate boundaries. That's true. Here's our volcano diagram. What is the term for number one? Magma chamber. Number two, pipe. Number three, vent. Okay, and um, we don't have number four on there yet. But we can click Submit, and what that does is it's going to put the response in there. It says your response has been recorded. So I'll go ahead and close that tab, and if you go back to your Forms tab now, you can view the responses, and it says one response has been recorded, and when you go in there, you can see that it's been recorded, all that information. So it says when the test was taken, who took it, um, and their answers to each one. Now these should be your answers. You should take the test before anybody else does, so you can compare their answers down below to your answer key up here at the very top row. All right. So once you've done that, you can go to your form, and if you make sure everything's okay and you've got your answer key created, the last step is to send the form to the people in your team after you present your presentation to them and you've taught them the information they need to know to take the quiz. Then you can go here to send via email and send it to their names. So you put each one, put a comma, and then put the next name. And for each other person in your team, you'll send it out to them and click send. And that will send them an invitation with a link so they can go to your quiz and take the quiz. Once they've taken it, you can check their answers against yours here. And you'll also want to share this spreadsheet with your teacher. So to do that, in the responses here, check the box. We'll check the boxes for both of them. And we'll turn on Another way you can quickly check and see how well people did on your quiz, telling you how well you taught the information, is to go to Responses and then choose Summary of Responses. And the summary will just show you little breakdown pie charts or circle graphs of how many people gave which answer to each question. So obviously you want the biggest slice of each graph to match the correct answer, which was your first answer that you gave. If you see large slices that do not match the correct answer, you'll know that that information wasn't really learned by your classmates.